All right, everybody, I am going to try to show you a few things on Onshape. I'm going to build a, um, a basic uh, front attachment for my vehicle. Um, I've actually already produced um, a back end and some wheels and stuff. So kind of a monster truck sort of concept for mine. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to start off with some basics. So first things you want to do is... Um, yeah, just start, really just start making something. All right, so I'm going to make my rectangle, um, or I'm going to make a rectangle to start from. And so I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to do center point rectangle. I'm going to use that as my center point, and then out to there for now. And then um, I can dimension this. So I'm going to go to dimension, and I'm going to dimension that side. And I'm going to have this be um, 3.5 inches. And then I'm going to have this be um, 4 inches, because that's where it's going to attach to the rest of the vehicle. And I'm going to hit check mark there. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this thing up. Oops, that's the wrong, that's a fillet. I'm going to go to extrude. I'm going to extrude that rectangle up, and um, I'm going to do the one and a half. All right, so this is a new body operation type. So I don't know if you guys know this, but you can do new, add, remove, or in intersect. New is important when you're first starting off, but then when you want to uh, basically add on to your extrusion, you would want to select add and not new. Um, so that'll come into play in a little bit, probably. Um, let's see, it's going up. That's totally fine. Um, now, if I want to keep um, a plane directly in the middle of my object, then I might want to do, instead of end type blind, I might want to do symmetric. And that, that will help me to um, keep the, a plane basically in the middle or keep that top plane in the middle. And then I can use that mid... Basically, I can use the top as a midplane. And since I chose the center, the origin as the center of my rectangle, um, I can then, I, I, my right side plane and my front plane are also midplanes for my object. So that's actually really, really helpful to do that. So I'm going to select check there. All right, doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but I'm going to make some changes to it eventually, and then it'll look a little bit better. Um, you'll see the, the orange on here is me showing you kind of my finger positions, what I'm doing. So that should help a little bit as we go through things. All right, so um, this is the front, which means this is gonna be the back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place um, a point. I gotta start a sketch on this back surface. Um, I'm gonna place a point and I'm going to first double tap and or, or like tap with two fingers at the same time and view normal to sketch plane. What that means is the sketch plane is like, you know, I'm facing it right now. And so I'm going to put a point that's on there and a point that's on there. And uh, I haven't dimensioned these points yet. Um, but the reason I'm making these points is I'm going to try to get those, uh, that circle and that um, hexagon connector piece. So as a reminder, the circle is on, uh, you know, the left-hand side, sort of here, and the hexagon's on the right-hand side. And uh, so if I flip that, um, you know, if I reverse that, then my circle is on essentially the other side. So my new, I'm going to have a circle um, extrusion outward, and then I'm going to have a hexagonal hole instead. So I just got to pay attention to that. I need to know where they are. They are one inch uh, from the outside of this, so I'm going to make sure to do um, that part one inch from the outside. So I'm going to dimension, oops, I need to be editing the sketch too. All right, so I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to dimension from this side to that point. I want that to be exactly one inch, and I'm going to do the same thing with this point and this side that was close exactly one inch 
there we go. All right, and then I can probably hit, or no, I don't want to hit check mark yet because now I want to make, um, all right, so the, if this is the um, back of my piece, as a reminder, the circular hole was on the right. So I'm gonna make a circle over here. It was on the left of the other piece, but it's gonna be on the right side here. So there's that. And then on this side, I'm gonna make a circumscribed polygon. So I'm gonna make that a certain size and angle. Let's see, oh, there's six. Okay, there's a few things I can do here to make sure uh, that this all works out. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna go to dimension. I need these to be I believe they're supposed to be 0.25. Uh, that's too that's too small. I think it's 0.5. Now that I think about it, I could be wrong. So I'm gonna double check. All right, yeah, each of them have a diameter of 0.5. So I'm gonna go back, edit the sketch. I'm going to re-dimension, basically I just double, double tap that, 0.5, check, good. All right, I'm gonna dimension that. And that's gonna be ah, 0.5, check. All right, and then um, I wanna make sure that uh, this, oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to make sure that this line and my plane, so I need to make sure I am uh, view normal the sketch plane. Make sure I'm right on here. I want that and that. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Hmm. Um... Oh, there we go. I know how I'm going to do this. I want that and that to be parallel with each other. There we go. All right, that works really well. Did you like my sound effect there? The right now, my circle, there was something else about my circle that I didn't like there. I'm going to go to edit. When it's blue, there's something that can still happen. So I'm curious what is still, ah, uh, that's not fixed. All right, so I'm going to make sure that uh, this point and that point are coincident with each other. There we go. Now that thing is stuck there. Um, so if that's ever the case, if you ever see that your object is, or your sketch is blue somewhere, that means it's not fully constrained and it means it can be moved around or manip manipulated. Sometimes that's not a problem, but for this, I definitely want to make sure I have everything in exactly the right position. All right. So now I'm gonna do two different extrusions. My first extrusion is gonna be this one. It's gonna come out. Um, I definitely remember this dimension. This is the quarter inch. So I'm gonna make sure that comes out a quarter inch. And then um, my end type is blind. It's an add. So you notice that it says add right here instead of new. I definitely want that to be an add. Um, and uh, it says merge scope. and one entity is selected. Basically what that means is um, it's chosen to make this part uh, merge or be the same part as the, the first part I started with. Um, so that's that. So I'll check that. Then I'm going to go to um, this one right here and I'm going to extrude that but this time I want to remove which means I want to go back inside. I'm going to do that by a quarter inch. All right. And then everything else looks good. Hit check. Boom. All right. So I, I've got a good start now. I have some things that I can connect. So I'm just going to stop this recording and I'll record my next uh, phase in a little bit.